What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Forza Motorsport 6 and we are going to be doing a multiplayer drift build. Now basically what this is going to be like is we are going to get a car, we're going to build it, we're going to tune it, and then we're going to take it online without testing it at all. Just purely, the only test of it that we are going to have is its first online uh, drift event. So what we're going to go, go ahead and do is I feel like for the, for the car we're going to use for this event, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our hands on, I'm not sure actually what we're gonna use yet for this event, because I wanted to look through the list and pick something that was simple enough to drive and simple enough to tune, but at the same time wasn't like, oh, let's go build a 240SX. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking actually the CTSV Coupe because I've never actually used a CTSV Coupe in Forza 6 before, but I remember it being a really effective drift car in a lot of the previous Forza games. So I think that it could be a really good candidate for this uh, for this kind of an idea, and also because of the fact that I have a video coming soon featuring a lot of CTSV Coupes, a real life video. Um, that's the only thing I'll hint at. If you know what that is, good for you. But it, it, it is coming soon. It's, it's a very interesting video. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's a real life video. Um, it's got a lot of GoPro footage in it. There's some burnouts and some launches and uh, the FRS kind of gets run at 126 miles an hour. So it's, it should be a pretty fun video. So anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go to the upgrade shop and we're going to do some basic mods. And when I say basic mods, I want to say you know, brakes, suspension. We're not gonna build the crap out of the engine, though. We're gonna do a few things, but we're not gonna, like, go absolutely insane with it. So, what we're gonna do is, let's do a intake up to, I, I wanna get this thing up to around 600 and, 620 horsepower, so kinda improve the response a little bit, make it just a little bit easier to kinda kick the rear end around, but not build any kind of, like, massive, like, monster of a car or anything like that. So, Let's see, 611 horsepower, let's bump it up to 624, 624 seems like a really good spot for this car, and then so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a race clutch, we're gonna leave the stock transmission, but we're gonna do a race diff, because the race diff, we wanna be able to tune it, and actually, well, I, I realized, hmm, no, you know what, you know what, since this isn't actually really like a Full out drift car. We're gonna kind of, we're gonna be, we're gonna be easy with the easy with like the big stuff, like the transmission and stuff like that. We're gonna run street tires, and like I said, leave the stock transmission. Upgrade should we upgrade the front tire with? I'm thinking we should actually leave the tire size stock. So, and then for the wheels, I want a nice set of HREs. And actually, let me back out of that because that's not a good area to look in. I want a really nice set of HREs that suit the car well, and I think that either. I think that they'll they'll suit this thing either in black or like a, I don't know, I was thinking bronze would suit it nicely, and they do, but not as well as I thought they would, if that makes any sense. So, I actually want one that has, yeah, these are re these are really nice. These suit the car well. Suit the car really well. I do want it to be just a little bit bigger. 20's in the rear. And do we want 20 square? Yeah, because they don't they, they don't look all that big they, they don't look all that big. They don't look too big. This is actually kind of a rare case where 20s don't look too big on this car. And for the front, we got Forza Aero, which we don't need for the drift car. Rear we do we have, bleh, we have Forza Aero as well, which we're not gonna use for this build either. So from here, I think we're gonna do a couple of things with paint, like we're gonna paint the wheels, uh, maybe the mirrors, and again, like I said, that's gonna be about it. With most of this stuff is gonna be in the tune. And the reason why I say that is because you're going to get more out of alignment change and, align and an alignment setup than you're going to out of a lot of other things. I mean, sure, you can say, oh, full power, but at the same time, going full power all the time doesn't always work. The matte red actually does look cool, though. The matte red looks cool, but I was thinking of a really nice, really nice carbon finish. I think the carbon finish does set it off well, and it just gives it that classic you know, silver CTSV with, with carbon black wheels. It, it's a really kind of a proven color scheme and a really nice color scheme. But at the same time, I want to add some touches here and there, like the black mirrors. And I wonder how the carbon fiber hood will look. You know what? It actually doesn't look too bad. I actually, I, I'm actually kind of a fan. It, it doesn't look too bad, and I'm kind of a fan of it. And it almost kind of gives, gives off that little bit of a, uh, 
like, ooh, my car is modified kind of a look. You know, it, it's, I don't know. Some people think it looks boy racerish to do the whole black hood, carbon fiber hood. I think it's very, it could be looked at as boy racerish, but at the same time, I feel like it could be looked at as race car. So I think that it's, it's definitely, you could go one of two ways with that. But let's see what we can do as far as the tuning. Now the tuning we want to do, we're going to do, let's see, bring the rear camber in just a little bit. I'm going to leave one, actually going to go up to one and a half degrees in the front. And let's see, drop the ride height down. And for the springs, we're actually going to stiffen the rear just a little bit, just a little bit. Not any more than that, just a little bit. And then for the braking force, we're going to leave the braking force alone, and we're going to bump the differential up to 100% both acceleration and deceleration. So, at this point now, we're going to apply the setup, and with no testing at all, we're about to go online. So, I'll see you guys back when we get into a session. Alright guys, so we're back, and it's now time to test the CTSV Coupe online. And uh, the, the track that, we, that actually got voted in was the Rio de Janeiro Mountain Circuit. So, we've got a pretty good sized lobby here, tons of different cars, we've got a, we've got a freaking Gurkha in here, and all the way up to like a 2015 Camaro, um, a, a, an S13 Silvia, somebody's in an Audi R18 e-tron, I don't know why they're in that in a drift lobby, I think we'll find out. Alright, oh wow, <laughs> freaking gold AMG Mercedes, we've got an M3 in front of us, we've got a 350 in front of us. A little bit of a burnout, I'm just gonna wait, jeez, okay. Hi! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Good grief. Oh my god! I'm just gonna let some people go. Just go. Just, just go. Don't hit me. Don't hit- Don't hit- Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Okay! Good grief! Are you done slamming into my Cadillac yet? I'm gonna let these guys go. And, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go. You know what? Controllable. Controllable so far. I actually really like it. Let me actually get back into first person, because this is in turning very quickly into a very iffy situation, especially with that Gurkha behind me. Oh my god. Okay. 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 <laughs> Trying to stay composed, controlled, and as far away from the Gurkha as possible. Stay, there you go. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. A bunch of people backing out. That was really close. That was so close from that Tesla. I was just like, please don't hit me. We're actually managing third right now, which is not bad. And what's really nice about this car, other than, well, that, that wasn't very nice, but no. What's nice about this car is the control. The control is very, very nice, and the thing is, it's so smooth. It's such a smooth car. The power delivery is smooth. The, uh, the way the thing responds is so smooth. And yeah, I know it's kind of smashed up now, but that sometimes happens in public lobbies, as we kind of all know. But, and I think that the addition of the street tires helped the grip just enough to where it's not overly grippy. But it is grippy enough to where you're not having to worry about, like, Oh no, I'm gonna slide into a wall immediately! And yeah, the low-end torque really does help a lot. And, and I'm actually, you know what, I'm, for this track anyway, at least, I'm not disappointed with the stock gearing. I'm really not. The stock gearbox is really good. I'm, I'm actually not regretting keeping the stock gearbox at all. The stock gearbox is, is totally fine. For no, my God! Oh, ow! Okay. Oh, God! Oh my God! The Gurkha's like piling up, and the there's an M3, the Gurkha that from earlier. So a lot of ow, ow! Oh God! When you get in a really big group, of course, sometimes, especially people that don't exactly know where they're going, it can get a little iffy. Race ends in 30 seconds. What? Okay, somebody did cross the finish line. Dang. Would I say I'm pleased with the match? I don't know. Would I say I'm pleased with the car? Yes, I would. I would say I'm pleased with the car. I don't know if I'm pleased with the match. The match kind of went a little crazy. Um, I was expecting a little bit more of like a, 
you know, kind of a decent drift lobby, but that match kind of went a little bit off the wall, so to speak. Um, or I should say, into the wall. That would be a little bit better of a, uh, a little bit better of a way to actually, actually classify that match. But I think the biggest thing, too, is the fact that it was on a really tight course with a lot of vehicles that were a little bit on the iffy side, like the Gurkha, the F1 car, the... The, the Audi R18, but at the same time, I think the car did well for what it was for what was thrown at it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.